So let's work here on a solution has been found. So in this area, we need, let's see, we need to work here and change, add a few other lines here. Uh, the first thing we'll do is create a static int and we'll call it uh, progress. We'll just, uh, we won't say initial value, which by default sets it to zero when it's static. And now we will say, uh, we'll eventually get to this point. We'll create, uh, well, let's create a hash map here. So we need another static thing. Static hash map, and we'll call it H map uh, solutions. I'll make it plural because there are, will be more than one solution stored in here. And then I'll say equals new hash map. A couple brackets and a semicolon. Now there are a couple errors, and that's because I forgot to mention you do need to import uh, this little uh, thing up here and I just change it to uh, that java.util and that contains all sorts of uh, things one of them being hash maps so now we've created uh, hash map solutions hash map now uh, when we enter the map in here it's going to look something like this it'll be hmap solutions and we'll say dot put because we want to set a value. Once we find a solution, we want to store it in here. So we will store it in uh, the location. Uh, we'll call it progress. So, and then we'll have some sort of array. We won't uh, enter uh, the value yet. And then we'll say progress plus plus at the end. So basically progress will start at zero and when it finds a second solution, it'll store it as the second location in this array. So it'll pretty much be like an array as in zero, one, two, three, four, five is the index or key. Um, but we like it because of its reverse searchability. We can look for a certain, uh, and it's much faster with huge data sets because we will be finding thousands of of valid positions that really is slow uh, with arrays. So now we have to come up with uh, what do we store as our value and what we will store is the entire array itself, this queen board. Uh, except if you will recall queen board has a problem. If I store queen board into the hash map solutions when uh, referencing arrays like this, placing it in, when you modify queen boards, this also gets modified. It's like putting the address into this hash map so that when the original is changed, this will, add, uh, will send the address back to the changed an array. So we need to first copy this queen boards array in, as store it as queen boards two and then place it in there. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, just do it anyway it will be necessary. So what we'll say here is we'll say, whoops, int queen board two equals new int and the sizes I believe were n by n was how we had set this up. And now uh, I should add a couple squares right there. Solve that error. And now we'll need a for loop. Four, and this is how you copy an array. Uh, you have to copy it row by row. So you have to do a for loop for each row. So for uh, int i equals oops, zero, and then i is less than n, and then i plus plus. All right, for this loop, we do system dot array copy and set the values to queen board i 
and which takes the whole row. Any second, second, if I set a second spot, that would be a specific spot, but this takes the entire row. Now we set this one to zero, and you can look at all the values of why I'm doing this, but, uh, and now we set queen board two, same spot, I, and zero, and N. All right, so this code basically copies queen board into queen board two. All of that just to store it into the hash map solution, but that is necessary code even though it slows us down a little bit for the inconvenience of it. So basically, uh, that is all I have for now. This is just a, a very basic introduction into hash maps, but should be all you need for uh, most uh, basic applications. I hope that you have learned something. Until next time, enjoy Java.